Welcome friends to Dr. Harit's Laboratory Medicine. This lecture is a continuation of the liver function series test and in this lecture I'll be talking about alkaline phosphatase. Now the word phosphatase means an enzyme which is capable of removing a phosphate group from a molecule. Now because this enzyme acts best in alkaline pH, it is called alkaline phosphatase. The actual function of this enzyme in the body is not known. But this enzyme has got use in identifying diseases in the body. Now when I say alkaline phosphatase works best on alkaline pH, then a phosphatase working on acid pH should be known as acid phosphatase. Yes, the body has an acid phosphatase. My question to you all is, what is acid phosphatase? Where is it present? And what is its use? You can write this as a comment to this video. I'll be making a separate video covering all these topics. Now, alkaline phosphatase is present in the body along the bile duct and the biliary radicals in the liver. It's also present in the bones of the body. Another two organs where alkaline phosphatase is present is in the intestines and in the placenta. Rarely, some kind of cancers can also produce alkaline phosphatase. But what we should know is that alkaline phosphatase is present in the bile duct, it's present in the bones, it's present in the intestines and present in the placenta. Why is alkaline phosphatase used as a liver function test? The major organ where alkaline phosphatase is present is all along the bile tree. The cells which lie in the bile duct produce alkaline phosphatase. So, whenever there is any obstruction of the bile duct, then the pressure in the bile duct increases. It destroys the cells lining the bile, uh, the bile tree and when those cells die, the alkaline phosphatase is released into the blood and that's when the alkaline phosphatase levels increase. Therefore, alkaline phosphatase is a marker of obstructive jaundice. Alkaline phosphatase is a marker of obstruction in the flow of bile from the liver to the intestines. Now, what is the sample that we use for collection of, uh, for testing bile, uh, uh, testing alkaline phosphatase? The preferred sample is serum. So we can use a yellow or a red top vacutana. A fasting blood sample is the preferred sample for doing this test. If you remember, I had said that alkaline phosphatase is present in the intestines. So if a person has had food and then we collect a sample, the intestine part will also produce alkaline phosphatase and we will get high values of alkaline phosphatase. Therefore, only a fasting sample is required to be taken. Alkaline phosphatase, as I said, is present in the bones. So in children, where the bones are being formed and being modified quite a bit, the alkaline phosphatase levels will be high. Also, in pregnant ladies, because I said alkaline phosphatase is present in the placenta, in pregnant ladies, even the alkaline phosphatase can be high. So we should know these two conditions. We should know the, whether it's a child or whether it's a pregnant lady. And the sample to be used for testing is serum and this sample should be collected in the fasting state because if a person has had food, the intestine part of alkaline phosphatase will cause high values. Now what is a test reaction? The commonly used test reaction is based on Bowers and McCombs method. In this we use a substrate para nitrophenyl phosphate. Now I said phosphatase enzyme acts on this phosphate group and removes it. Para nitrophenyl phosphate is colorless, but when the enzyme acts from the serum, it splits this molecule, which is colorless, into para nitrophenol, which is yellow in color, and a phosphate group. That's and this reaction is being done in an alkaline pH. The yellow color formed is then red colorimetrically at 410 nanometers. This is a kinetic test. In this kind of test, the color is being progressively more and more produced as the reaction increases. Therefore, the graph that we get in alkaline phosphatase will be a rising graph. Now, this is important for us to remember that when we talked about AST and ALT, we, I said that the graph is a decreasing graph. Alkaline phosphatase, the graph is an increasing graph 
because as the reaction occurs more and more para nitrophenol is being produced which is yellow in color so as the reaction goes the yellow color increases and in this kinetic reaction the graph is rising now the levels of alkaline phosphatase the different kits using different pH of enzymes and at different temperatures usually have different readings. Therefore, whenever we give a report of alkaline phosphatase, we should mention what is the rate, uh, ra what is the levels given in the kit. It is usually less than 190 international units per liter. The conditions in which alkaline phosphatase is high is usually in obstructive jaundice, but viral hepatitis liver cancers and steroid therapy they can all cause increase in alkaline phosphatase now if the alkaline phosphatase levels are very high and the transaminase that is ast and alt are slightly high we will think of obstructive jaundice in viral hepatitis ast and alt levels are very high and there is a mild increase in alkaline phosphatase so we should read it with the proper picture of the patient Conditions where the alkaline phosphatase levels are low. There are no conditions where the alkaline phosphatase levels are low and that is of no clinical significance. Thank you very much for listening to my lecture. You can uh, please feel, feel free to contact me in my email ID. You can also watch my videos in my two YouTube channels Arun Harith and QS in Biochemistry. I have recently launched a website arunharith.co.in in which all my videos are present. Thank you.